do tiling. So all you do is simply you have um, you can make your PDF uh, now and include these things, and that's what I would suggest. So again, Adobe PDF presets. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, um, then all these things, then go to another movie that talks about how to make these. And um, I'm going to go to, I want to make sure that I go to 300 CMYK and I want crops and bleeds. So we're going to click that one. That means it's going to include the crop marks and the bleeds. And I'm going to name it something so that I know it's different. Okay. So now a page will come up and now I'm going to go through it. So I want to make sure everything's 300 dpi, which it is, and my marks and bleeds should be on, which you can include registration marks if you want. You do not want bleed marks. It makes it a little too difficult to see. And I suggest just using the bleed settings that you set up when you were using your document in the very beginning. If not, just go ahead and change it to whatever you want it to do and uncheck this. All right, let's see. Output. Convert to destination, that means if I do by chance have any RGB files, I want to go ahead and change it to CMYK, and that will do that. Okay, and now I'm ready to export. Alright, so now, in a minute, this will come up, and I will be able to open it in Adobe Acrobat. Cancel this, I need to do a page setup. Then we'll go back to that. Instead of letter, I want to go to tabloid and hit OK. And now when I go to print, file, P, print, or command P, I'm going to go back and choose that phaser in 11 by 17. I don't want to shrink it at all. I actually want to tile all pages. And it's going to have a little bit of an overlap, but I don't want it that little. I actually want, want at least an inch. Um, if you're really good, then maybe an uh, you know 0.5. But I'm going to go to 0.8, and it gets me back to um, four pieces of paper. 0.9 does the same. So at least I have almost an inch, but not quite. Which I just didn't want six sheets of paper. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm trying. I can actually count how many pieces of 11 by 17 paper it's going to be. It's telling me, there's my crop marks, you can see. Um, so once I put these four sheets together, they will be overlapped, and that's what these kind of checkerboard lines are telling me. It's going to use four pieces of 11 by 17 paper, and I know that because this is the, I did the page setup for 11 by 17 for the whatever printer you want, you can do. And page scaling is tile all pages. And I do want cut marks, which we've already put cut marks in there, so we actually can take that off because my cut marks are already in, in there. But we're going to leave it just in case. Maybe it'll give us some overlap. And then you would hit print, and it would print. Um, I'm going to show you one other way to do it. If you don't want to make a PDF, you can actually do tiling straight from InDesign. And you would go to print, Command P or control P on a PC and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the phaser and I want here I'm able to choose my paper size so my page setup I'm actually able to do that here so I can hit tabloid I want the page position it does, it's gonna change I can put it centered because that's normally what I like but I'm gonna hit tile it's going to give me an inch and a half overlap. Well, I, again, think that's too much, so just an inch is all I need. I do need the marks and bleeds, so I prefer these these things. You can also add color bars if you want. It doesn't take anything away. But if you go back, you'll notice on my um, page position, it's, it's gone. I don't have centered anymore. But I have four pages. It's going to be an inch overlap. And that's how you do it and then you would hit print and it would print because I have my paper size selected correctly I have done my marks and bleeds I have told it to use document bleed settings 
all those are ready, you hit print and you have four pieces of paper that are tiled. Those are two ways to do it, one in InDesign, straight from InDesign, and one from an Adobe PDF.